Hi, in this video we will discuss how to reduce the baking time of complex and large scenes in Unity. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding of the lighting and scene settings that you can optimize to achieve good lighting results in lesser amount of time. I am using this top-down desert package from K4 on Acer Store. Keep in mind, the settings we will discuss are general guidelines and can be applied for every situation. The key is to understand the principles behind the settings that will enable you to bake lights in any scene with greater speed and with more iterations. Let's do this. Okay, to give you a brief overview, baking lights is the process of pre-calculating the lighting in your scene. By pre-calculating the lighting, you can get good lighting results with indirect lighting. And you can also optimize the scene for lower end devices like smartphones. But mostly, when we try to bake the lights with default settings, it takes so much time sometimes with almost no results. It's important to optimize the scene and to find ways to reduce the baking time. The first thing that need to be optimized is the scene we are baking the lights in. Unoptimized scenes are one of the main reasons why light baking can take so long. There are many things in a scene that can be optimized to reduce baking times. For example, complex geometry. The more complex a geometry in the scene, the longer it will take to bake the lights. Complex geometry can be high poly models in your scene or 3D models that are not properly modeled. The solution for this is to reduce complex models and remove unnecessary objects in the scene. If you are making a mobile game, reduce the poly count as much as you can. High number of lights. If there are many lights in the scene, Unity will take more time to bake all of those lights. For this, what you can do is to delete all unnecessary lights from the scene. Light map UVs. By default, many objects in the scene will have overlapping UVs in the scene if you don't have this checkbox enabled. What this checkbox does is to generate separate light map UVs for the object. If this is not checked, the Unity Light Mapper can take a long time to organize the UVs for baking the lights. And it's also possible that the Light Mapper won't calculate lighting for those objects. Advanced Materials and Shaders If the scene includes complex shaders that are physical based, this will also cause more time to bake the lights. You should use simple and optimized shaders in the scene. If you are making game for mobile devices, you should use mobile optimized shaders that are available on Azure Store. Large Scenes Large scenes can also increase the baking time. For example, if there is a large Unity terrain or the whole level is very big, Unity will have to calculate the lighting for every surface in the scene, which can take a long time. Now let's look at the scene that we have. This scene is very unoptimized in terms of the geometry. There is a lot of unnecessary geometry for which we have to bake the lights. The simple solution is to delete the geometry. I'm kidding! Of course, deleting geometry might not be your first choice. But an optimized scene is the one in which light is baked for only necessary objects, such that the objects with the player in the game can interact with or can see. There is no point baking the lights for the objects that are not seeable by the player. For example, if this is a first person shooter game and the player is running around only on the streets, then there is no need to bake the shadows for game objects that are on the roof. That's the reason there is no one solution for every game. You will have to carefully judge the objects for which you want to bake the lights. Now, let's organize this whole scene. We'll collect each object into its own category. This way, we'll have more control over which objects we want to bake the lights for. I'll quickly organize this because the scene is very messy. Now that the scene is organized, we can decide which objects will contribute to the light baking. Select all of the objects in the scene and set them all to static. By selecting static, you are telling Unity to include all of these objects in light baking and shadow calculation. But we don't want every object to be included in the baked light maps. We will select those objects that are not so much necessary or won't be directly visible to the player. For example, these small objects that are on the roof or these small objects that are already in the shadows. Select these objects and set this receive GI to light probes. Because of their small size and insignificance from the player's perspective, what we will do is light these objects with light probes. Lighting these small objects with light probes is an efficient and one of the best ways. How this works is, we add these light probes in the scene and these probes or points collect light during baking and then these points or probes project the indirect lighting on these small objects. In this way, these objects are not included in the light maps but will still receive lighting data from the lights. This is one of the many methods in which you can optimize the scene. But lighting these small objects this way can reduce light baking time drastically. Now let's look at the lighting settings and see what we can do here. First, make sure that this real-time lighting is not checked. Make sure this baked GI is checked and lighting mode is set to subtractive. 
there are two other modes but i will explain those in some future video set the light mapper to progressive gpu so the light is baked using gpu progressive light mapper is an actual pass tracer it means lights are traced from the light source to the game objects to calculate shadows and indirect lighting also make sure that the lights you want to bake are set to baked the number of direct and indirect samples to use in light baking for interior and exterior scenes depends on a number of factors including the complexity of the scene and the quality of the lighting you want to achieve in general you will need more direct and indirect samples for interior scenes than for exterior scenes this is because interior scenes have objects closer with each other which scatter the lights and create more indirect lighting that's why you need more indirect samples and also light from the direct light is blocked by objects in the scene so you also need more direct samples in the interior scenes for exterior scenes you can get away with using fewer direct and indirect samples you can start with 128 direct samples and 256 indirect samples for interior scenes and 64 direct samples and 128 indirect samples for exterior scenes you can adjust the settings depending on the specific scene increasing these samples can get you good lighting results but unity will take more time to bake then we have environment samples the number of environment samples in the light baking is important for scenes that contain skyboxes or other large reflective surfaces. More samples can increase details but will take more time to bake. Samples of around 64 to 128 are good. Filtering is also an important factor in light baking. It helps to smooth out the edges of the light maps and reduce the appearance of noise. This is light maps without filtering and this is with filtering set to auto. The light map resolution is one of the most important factors in light baking. It determines how much detail is captured in the light maps. It can have a significant impact on the quality of the lighting. A higher light map resolution will capture more details, but it will also increase the baking time. A lower light map resolution will capture less details, but it will bake faster. The ideal light map resolution depends on the scene and the desired quality of the lighting. For simple scenes, a lower light map resolution may be sufficient. For more complex scenes or scenes with high quality lighting, a higher light map resolution may be necessary. I suggest to start with a lower number like 2 or 4 and then increase it if you want more and more good results. For final results for this scene, I will set the light map resolution to around 30. I will set the light map size for this scene to 512 or you can set it to higher size but keep track of the light map size that will also impact the total size of the game. Check this box for ambient occlusion. This will add a small shadow between the objects that are closer to each other but this will also increase the baking time. Set this directional mode to non-directional. What this does is if this is set to directional, Unity light mapper will generate another light map that will store the dominant light direction which is also used for realistic lighting. But this will also increase the size of the light maps and also take more time to bake. Now finally let's bake the scene. For the final touch, I scattered a few light probes around certain objects in the scene and I use these lighting settings for optimized bake light maps that are not very big in size without sacrificing the quality of the lighting. Here is the final result. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you have found the information valuable. If you found this video helpful and want to stay updated with more content like this, consider subscribing to this channel. Feel free to let me know your thoughts, questions or suggestions in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.